okay guys beautiful one now i'm gonna be making a beautiful fish meal with you guys this evening it's gonna be simple okay so let's cook together and make this together all right now i got a medium sized pot right here at the moment with some water inside of it okay uh what i'm gonna do so that can stay there for now i'm gonna get some potato ready all right so i'm gonna cook some mashed potato in this medium-sized pot and then what i'm gonna do i'm gonna walk you through the fish how we're gonna do the fish but we're gonna bake it in the oven So I'm just going to get the potato ready. So I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful dishes right here. Okay, now this is the part which I'm gonna cook my potato into. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put in the potato in the meantime. Nice one. So that's the potato ready. Okay, so we're going to make this cook. In the meantime, we're going to do the fish. So we're going to show you how to marinate up this fish. All right, guys. So, yeah. So, first of all, you don't need to add any salt by cooking your potato at home. All right, guys. Trust me, it's more healthier not that way. All right. So, what we're going to do, we're going to So right here, I got some, this is some cod, you know what I mean? This is gotta be the thing, the second time I'm doing codfish because I have the cod and I wanna use them. So I say, I'm gonna make a nice, lovely, you know what I mean? Why not do some codfish recipe? Yeah, just use it up, you know what I mean? So if you got some fish left over from the Christmas, you know what I mean? This is what you can also do with it and I'm gonna walk you through it, how to marinate it, all right? But um, to be honest with you, I like to do my fish this way. Put them on a piece of a napkin and get rid of a bit of the, the, the water from the fish. This is some lemon water. Right. 
So that's one of the best way you could ever do your fish at home, all right? Just to get rid of some of the liquid water from it. All right, once you do that, transfer it back into the bowl. Two nice lovely pieces of a cut right here. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna we're gonna marinate it up a little bit. So just to show you, we're gonna put on some pepper. Alright. To the other side. I'm gonna get some garlic. Okay, nice one. So we got some garlic. Sorry about that, guys. We got some garlic right here. We're gonna use three cloves of garlic. That's enough. Nice to have some garlic on it. If you do not have one of these garlic press, I would encourage you to go over to my website, chefricotta.co.uk, and grab one of these garlic press. All right. one wow that's a lot of garlic so what we're gonna do we're gonna rub on this beautiful garlic all over the the fish all right so this is what you want to do you want to make sure you base that garlic all over the whole fish all right. Yeah, that's that's beautiful. That's really lovely. You can smell the garlic. Wow. Now what we want to do, to be honest, I like to use my herbs, like mixed herbs, and this is some oregano. I'm gonna be using some oregano from both sides. And if you've got some like all of these dry herbs, you know what I mean? Basil and you know what I mean parsley. It's just nice to use on it, guys. Trust me. And it's just bringing a lovely different kind of look to the fish. I mean, it's, you don't have to, but if you just want to, you know what I mean? Yeah, do something different. Then I'm going to put some paprika. Paprika definitely going to give it a color. Also, okay. And both sides, all right? Um, I got some fish seasoning I'm going to be using. All right, on top of it like this. Yes, all right. Like I said, Chef Ricardo, that's a lot, but it doesn't. It look like a lot, but it's not a lot. 
Trust me. There's not a lot on it. All right. So the potato is just cooking at the moment. Turn on that cooker a little bit. Yeah. So we're just gonna jump on it with um, a little bit of an oil. You know what I mean? Yeah, and that oil, I'm gonna just massage into the fish. All right, so you just wanna base it with some oil like this. All right, and that's how they look like that. All right, so it look nice. But if you notice, it's just like most of the mixed herb, a little bit of paprika, and the fish season, tiny little bit. You don't even need much. Now, it's looking good, all right? That's beautiful. You can marinate the fish and put it down for a few hours. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna chuck it in the oven, all right? Well, you have to see what I'm doing. Now, get a little bit of soy sauce. For about two to three tablespoons of soy sauce i'm using dark soy sauce we're gonna put in a little bit of sweet chili sauce oh, oh it's not too bad it's not green and it's also vegetarian all right so we're gonna put a little bit of sweet chili sauce inside of it all right not much yeah, roughly about a tablespoon. And let's give it a mix. All right. See that? So this is what you want to see it look like. All right. Okay, all right, now, once you do that, put this aside. All right, now. That's why I want you guys to watch the video because it's something different I'm doing. This is some spinach right here. Okay, we're gonna be using some spinach on it, all right, but. Okay got some spinach so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna um, all right what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut up the spinach to show you so if I um, we get a smaller container To watch this video because it's something different you know what i mean i like to share new ideas with you guys you know what i mean if you're willing to watch okay all right we're just gonna be using this pot because i have it already now what you want to do grab yourself some spinach okay i'm gonna cut up the spinach into some into a smaller pieces Okay, so this is where you want to cut up your spinach. All right. Okay. So I'm using a large portion of the spinach. Because, you know, spinach shrink. All right. 
So I'm using a large portion of a spinach. That's a spinach with the shrinking. Now we're going to get some get some red onion. That's the red onion. All right, now what we're gonna do next is we're gonna get some pepper. This video is a very important video. Yeah. Something different guys, trust me. That's some peppers. So we're not gonna be putting any green pepper in the side of it because the vegetable is green. one so right here we got all of the vegetables right here all right inside of this pan so basically that's ready bitchy boo what's going on thank you so much guys for coming on the show sorry about that i'm just kind of i focus on my little bit of um you know what i mean cooking gonna put some fresh thyme to get some flavor inside of it so this is some fresh thyme i'm using all right lovely okay now so what you want to do, get a tray like this and then put a piece of a grease proof paper in it like this. All right, and get that spinach with all of the vegetables. All right, and brace it in the bottom of it like this. Okay. Get that beautiful piece of fish, lay it on top of it like this. All right, and like this. All right, now, these are the garlic. some of it and just put it on top of it the fish like this all right 
and like this. lovely chunk of piece of a lemon I'll put on top of it like this all right yeah that lovely mix of soya sauce all right let's put it on top of it like this and sprinkle it all over need to do there's a lot more stuff you can do with this guys but I'm telling you the flavor which gonna come from the spinach the onion the garlic the soya sauce everything going to that fish and you got that lemon which gonna just bring in and kick in a nice lovely flavor straight into the fish all right I just try to get to you so listen 95% of it can be vegetables what we're gonna do we're gonna bake it in the oven for roughly about you don't need to cover it because the fish will be cooking so quickly. The most important thing what you need to do is to pre-eat your oven first and get it on a high temperature then turn it down a little bit. All right, and leave that eat to cook the fish and the vegetable because spinach is very easy to cook. So it's gonna just keep the fish moisture. That's the fish doesn't dry out and taste like a rubber. That's why I was doing it like this kind of way. But it's something new and you can't do all to learn. All right, you can always learn something new every time you're at home cooking. Now, we're gonna dash this in the oven, it won't be long. This is gonna be very quick because my oven is very hot already, so it won't be long, all right? Let's chop this in the oven. Yes, so it's in the oven. All right, now let's take a look at the potato, okay? This is the potato right here, We should just cook. Um, let's see what's going on right here. Okay, remember, I didn't even add salt. If you notice, I cooked the food and there is no salt involved in nothing. You know what I mean? That's what Chef Ricardo is talking about. Still can't cook Jamaican food. Estelle, good morning. Thank you so much. Big up all of my... Oh, no, Chef Ricardo, what's going on with you? No, because I was concentrating on so much on the fish a while ago. I just to get my fish right. You know what I mean? I have to get it right. Big up the members and um, subscribers of one of you guys. I love them. Thank you so much for your time. Sorry if I'm not like, you know what I mean? I'm not saying I'm ignoring anyone, but I was just concentrating on the fish. <laughs> that fish was like on my mind, you know? Yes, it was on my mind. Ready to cook. All right? So big up all of my members, subscribers, and all of you guys who support. Today is the 30 of... December 2021, beautiful day. All right, so it's coming up to the new year. Guys, let's get into the to action, you know what I mean? Something new and something different in the new year. Because we're not going to keep coming with the same thing in the new year. You know what I mean? You have to switch it around a little bit and let everyone happy, okay? All right, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to make the world best mashed potato. All right, I'm going to show you how to do this one. Um, but I'm going to make it healthy. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm not going to be um, doing it the other way. Um, Lennon, thank you so much for coming on the show. That's my members. We've got Michi Boo. Michi. And also we got Estelle. Thank you so much. I appreciate every one of you guys for the support. All right? Beautiful. Let's get my... Oh, see... This is what I was looking for. My pepper to put into the fish. Yeah, that was beautiful fish, man. Okay, 
Now, let's get my Alright, so I'm going to show you how to make the world best mashed potato. Alright, yeah. So let's turn off this one. So now when you cook potato, I'll give you a little bit of a secret. A lot of people doesn't know this. When you cook potato, it's just good for leave it in the pot for a few more minutes. Alright, I don't like it, it's going to absorb the water or anything. But that's a secret. Try that better at home when you're cooking. Next time. All right, guys, let's get this out of here and reach some space. give the potato a few more minutes and then we're going to remove it all right So we're going to strain the potato. Let's run off this potato. All right. Yeah, so when you cook potato, it's good to leave it for a few seconds. And then you pour it off. All right, so I'm going to pour off my potato. Nicole, good morning, Miss Brown. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Let's get this over here. All right, and then... So we pour it off the potato. All right, this is it right here. Jamaica recipe queen. Good morning. Yes, Jamaica recipe queen is in the house all the way in Jamaica. All the way in Jamaica. Okay. So, all right, <laughs> that, that's, that's the, the potato right there, okay? So what we're gonna do is something different than we get to this evening. Totally different, guys. It's not like, all right. So we got some spring onion, which we're going to be using, all right. Yeah, we got some spring onion. So what we're going to do, put some black pepper, all right, yeah, some black pepper. Look at this now, guys, you know what I mean? Sometimes you can cook this kind of way at home and your food come out really nice and beautiful, all right? Yeah, can. Put a little bit of basil inside of it. All right. Then we're gonna put, we're gonna put a little bit of Butter. I'm using um light butter. I'm gonna use it for about a teaspoon of butter inside of it. Very light butter. Not nothing, just light. There's nothing much inside of it. Okay, now 
a lot of people they, they put milk they put a lot of stuff inside of it it's an option you know what i mean you can put whatever you like to put inside of it but me personally i can't have this whole heap of milk so i have to be careful with milk with me you know some people are allergic to certain things yeah that's chef ricardo all right now we're gonna mash this up to show you some more in ways we can do and if you notice i did not use any salt in this one all right Mrs. Julie, oh my days. Merry Christmas, Julie. I think Christmas is just landing. <laughs> Julie, long time, and you disappear off the planet. <laughs> All right, now guys, look at that. Wow. See? So it look? All right. So that's what I told you. When you cook your potato, leave it in the pot for about a second. And then the potato will come out really creamy and nice. All right, look at that. And the herbs go run through it. So these kind of cooking, to be honest with you, you can't get them nowhere in the world. You have to do this at home. No matter how much money you got, you're not gonna get this kind of cooking you have to make it at home guys trust me all right and that's the best way you can make mashed potato at home that's the world best mashed potato <laughs> someone might there's a chef recorder that never be the world best mashed potato all right look at this now guys grab yourself some spring onion some spring on the inside of it like this. Look at this though, guys. I'll show you some. Some beautiful magic at home, what you can do. I got some coriander. All right. Just some coriander inside of it like this all right and then what you want to do spoil up the mashed potato like this all right look at that now what i want to say to you okay guys if any one of you guys can tell me the reason why I put the herbs in the mashed potato, leave your comments in the description box. Okay? Leave your comments in the description box. Why is Chef Ricardo put spring onion in the mashed potato? And I put some curry and if you got some parsley, can I put some parsley inside of it to get a lovely flavor same way from both of them. Let's check the fish. Oh my day, someone in Jamaica does smell it. Oh yeah, let me see what's going on right here. Okay, all right, now, a few more minutes and the fish gonna be ready. All right, few more minutes and the fish ready. All right, now, yeah, Julie, happy new year and Merry Christmas. Let's taste the, the, the mash and see where we are, all right? Okay. Now, the mashed potato is one of the best in the world. Okay? Now, I cooked this mashed potato and I didn't use any salt inside of it, all right? I just use, I wash off the potato them nicely, get some of the starch out of the potato, cook 
cook it off, mash it, I just put a little bit of butter. But to be honest with you, this is just like amazing. The flavor and the texture from the spring onion and the coriander makes the difference right here, guys. Okay? Yeah. Beautiful. And amazing. Let's share up this one right here. All right, this is amazing, guys. Trust me. We're gonna shear up this one right here. Okay, and you guys, I think you guys need to make this recipe at home in the new year. Is this way? Yeah. All right. This is the best way you can ever take up your potato. You know what I mean, yeah, look at this. All right. is beautiful fantastic and an amazing all right now let's take the fish from the home wow that that fish smell are amazing wow look at this guys all right so that look nice yeah that is just perfect all right you might have said can I take a look at that fish? All right, let's. That fish doesn't take long to cook, guys. You have to remember that, you know. Fish is easy to cook. Now, look at this. All right? You saw the fish are tear apart? Yeah, and that's the way you cook fish. Okay? You got a lot of... Look at that. Fantastic and amazing. The flavor. You don't want to overcook the fish. It's going to taste like rubber. Wow. Let's taste this. Mmm. Wow. That tastes delicious. That fish tastes delicious. All right, and if you notice when I was cooking, what's going on guys, that if you notice, I did not even. I did not even use any salt, if you notice that. All right. Everything, everything cook without salt. So that's what, that's the message I'm trying to get to most of my people right now. The less salt you can cook with, is the better your life gonna be better. All right, that's the message. Because sometimes you have to just forget about salt. You know, sometimes a lot of people when they're cooking, salt have to be all over the whole plate. No, man. Too much salt, not good for you. All right. Let's put some of these nice, lovely color vegetable right on the potato. I know I got broccoli you now. I should have cooked that broccoli. By the way, we got the spinach. All right. There's a lot of juice. Springing out the spinach. All right. And that's beautiful. Okay. All right. Now. Come on. What do you want to do? Spoil chef for Carter Shaw? No, no. All right. Wow. Look at that. That is fantastic. Alright. 
I, I, I think I did something like this the other night, but not, not like this. This one is a little bit different. All right. This one is totally different. Different, different. You know what I mean? I'm just doing it to show you guys I can do something really lovely at home. And everyone happy. Trust me. All right. It's fantastic. All right, get that beautiful piece of lemon. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That is what I'm talking about. All right. With some. This is going to be some. This is some coriander. And some spring onion all right look at that wow coriander and spring onion chop up together now it's new year is coming up happy new year julie nice to see you julie man thank you so much for coming on the show now look at that guys and that's what i'm talking about that that to be honest is jamaican style of cooking with a twist to it but the food is what healthy except I put a little bit of butter and the butter is a light unsalted butter you know what I mean if you're losing weight you can use that kind of butter but the beautiful thing behind the whole scene right here I'm telling you that you can cook at home your food tastes nice look delicious and you don't have to use a lot of powder season and a lot of salt use a lot of mixed herbs use like parsley coriander all of these herbs, guys, start to use them in your daily diet. I'm telling you this because there's a lot of health benefit into it when you're using it naturally. Cut them up and use them in your diet. Cut them and put them in a lot of stuff. The potato, if you have high blood pressure, the way I cook the potato, that's the best way to cook it and heat it at home. Okay? Except the, and the butter is an unsalted free butter. So this is just like a really healthy, healthy, healthy healthy meal right here all right you can cook any food at home and you can cook it healthy and you can enjoy it and you know what i mean yeah but that's the message right here guys when i see i do this beautiful this is gonna be the second fish i do time now i did it because i got this kind of fish and i use them up all the time all right but as you can see it's a beautiful one if you like the recipe please leave your comments in the description box thank you so much every one of you guys for coming on the show this evening from julie Nicole and Michi Boo, big up yourself and tell Tony to big up himself, all right? And Lenel, thank you so much for coming on the show. Esther Lee, thank you so much. Please check out them YouTube channel and support them, all right? Guys, beautiful one. And if you like my, all right, that's fantastic. We got some sauce that's running off out of, this, out, of, out of the fish. So, yeah, it's just a really, really good one. Um... I get better, Julie. Okay, all right, Julie. Hopefully, hopefully, we will pray for you. 100%. All right. Beautiful one. Oh, Jamaica recipe queen, man. All the way in Jamaica. Thank you so much for coming on the show. I appreciate you. 100%. Okay, guys. But the message behind this is trying to show you guys that. Um, thank you so much, Jamaica recipe queen. It's to tell you guys that start to use a lot of vegetables in your diet all right like and parsley the herbs is very important all right yes jamaica recipe queen michi boo thank you so much i appreciate every one of you who will support chef ricardo now guys i'm gonna close the show it's 44 55 now so thank you for watching and guys have a beautiful evening look after yourself stay blessed and remember to keep pray and give thanks all right guys that's the message for the week. Pray and give thanks and tell yourself you are being blessed. All right? Yeah. Thank you so much, every one of you again, guys. And I will see you next time in the kitchen with more recipe. Julie, we will pray for you. All right? We will pray for you. All right. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. All right, Jamaica recipe queen. Thank you so much.